Reviewing your Cover California 1095A. Hello, I'm Kevin Knauss, and what could be better on a rainy afternoon than to review your tax documents for 2023? But reviewing that 1095A tax document that you receive from Covered California for the health insurance subsidies is pretty important for your taxes because you want to make sure that it is correct. So these 1095As come in a couple different flavors. The A is the tax document you would receive from Covered California or one of the other marketplace exchanges because you may have been in healthcare.gov for a couple months in another state. Now the 1095Bs that some people will receive, that will be from Medi-Cal because maybe you or your children were in Medi-Cal for a couple months of the year or all of the year. And the 1095Cs, those come from employer-sponsored health insurance. And those are important because it establishes that you had minimum essential coverage during the year and California does have an individual mandate penalty. So you need to have coverage, otherwise you pay a penalty and that, you, know, you have that Medi-Cal 1095B, you have that coverage. Now, if you notice an error on the 1095As, there's a couple different places you have to go to correct it. Now, you can call Covered California, that 1-800 number for certain issues, such if the name is wrong, date of birth, social security number, or the mailing address. But there are other issues, primarily relating to dollars, that you have to go through and fill out a dispute form with Covered California. And some of those issues would be the coverage start and stop dates, monthly health plan premiums, monthly APTC, that's the subsidy, missing family members, or extra family members. You know, maybe someone really shouldn't have been in the household. They should have their own 1095A because um, they are filing their own taxes. It gets a little bit more complicated if you or one of your dependents was in Medi-Cal because some of that stuff, you have to contact Medi-Cal to update it, um, such as the name, date of birth, social security number, or mailing address. And again, you, you want that stuff correct because this is all going on your taxes, and we don't mess around with the IRS. So where do these 1095 A's come from? Where can you find them if they haven't been mailed to you? Well, if you get into your Covered California account, you'll see there's a little envelope up there in the upper right-hand corner. That is the secure email box. And you may have received an email that Covered California has put the tax documents in there. For people who have specified that they only want to receive electronic communications, you're going to have to get to your Covered California account to get them. Other people that have specified they want paper documents sent to them through the United States Postal Service, they will be mailed to their house if the mailing address is correct in the system. Alternatively, if you can get into your Covered California account and then scroll down a little bit, you will see a little box that says View 2023 Federal Tax Form 1095A. You click on that and you'll be able to bring up the tax document and download it so that you can give that to your tax preparer or use it when you're doing your uh, tax software program. And the top part, you really kind of want to pay attention to the, all the other stuff. You know, the, there's the address. You need to make sure that that's right and everything. But you want to really look at the covered uh, adults and children if they're already in the household. So in this particular situation, we have adult one and two, and they were covered for the full year. We see that child one, there's no social security number listed. That, that's an issue. And we also notice that their coverage terminated June 30th. So what's going on there? Is that an error or maybe that child left your household and they maybe they got married, maybe they joined the army, maybe they got an employer-sponsored plan, uh, maybe you know that and that is not an error, it's all good. But you want to check and make sure that that does look proper. Scrolling down on that 1095A, oh, there's just a mass of numbers, 12 different months, the annual totals, and it kind of all kind of blurs together, but go through there. 
for this particular family on the 1095A, um, column A, monthly enrollment premiums, that is the total full premium amount for the health plan that everyone was enrolled into. And when we go through, we look in July, it changed. It went down a little bit by $25. Correct or incorrect? The column B, monthly second lowest cost silver plan, that is an important column because the cost of the second lowest cost silver plan is the benchmark, the basis for determining the subsidy. The IRS needs that. And as you go through that column, we see that in July, that also decreased by about $26. Correct or incorrect? And then column C, monthly advance payment of premium tax credit, that is the amount that Covered California actually sent to your health plan or health plans. And that is important because that gets totaled for the tax documents. And we can see that that changed in August. Why would it change in August? Well, it may be something got reported uh, later and the way the Covered California system works, if you make a change in February, it will actually affect the March subsidies. So you need to go through and look at that. But how do we even know that that is correct? What does that even mean? If you can get back into your Covered California account, scroll down a little bit, you will see Enrollment Dashboard. Click on Enrollment Dashboard. What comes up is your most current enrollment. But if you click on enrollment history, it gives you all of the different enrollments back several years. And you can actually just select a year on the left hand side and view total premiums, the subsidy, who was enrolled in that plan. There may be more than one plan. Sometimes families uh, split up. So Perhaps uh, one adult is in a Kaiser Bronze plan, another adult is in a Blue Shield PPO Silver plan, and maybe some of the children are in some other plan that is gold. So you may have multiple 1095 A's because there are different um, members enrolled in different plans and different subsidy amounts. But if you can go through all of that and say, you know, this just doesn't look right you can file a dispute for the 1095A because there's an error, you believe an error on the form. And so you're able to, if you can navigate, navigate to that page, you will get to the 1095A tax dispute form. You have to put in your name and email address. It gets emailed to you. It is a DocuSign PDF form. You open that up. Now, Case ID is very important. Um, the case ID is at the very bottom right-hand corner on your Covered California account, and it should also be on the documents that Covered California sends you. But you wanna make sure that that number is right because some people have multiple case IDs. Maybe you were in Covered California years ago and couldn't log into that one, so you created a new account it's gonna have a new case ID. So you wanna make sure they're using the correct case ID number. And then there'll be pages where you can put in what your question is, what you think they're, they have made an error on. And there will be a page that says 3895 dispute. You can, it's not applicable for 2023. That ended in 2021. Then there will be a final page where you can give some additional information of what may have happened that Covered California can investigate. And there were a lot of issues in 2023 as they lifted the public health emergency. Medi-Cal went back to normal operations. Some people had their subsidies completely um, terminated. They were still enrolled on a plan, but there was no subsidy. Uh, sometimes people had their plans, it, just kind of a mess. And you may not have received subsidy. That doesn't mean you won't get it when you do your taxes. If you paid the full amount for your health insurance and you were enrolled in Covered California, you should be able to reclaim that credit when you do your taxes because you did not receive enough credit during the year. 
And you know, you get all of that dispute form into Cover California. They say yes, they correct it. They will send you back a 1095A with the box corrected, check marked. So you can file that with the IRS. Oh, it's, it's, it can be really daunting even for a rainy afternoon. If you have any questions or comments, you may leave those down below. I cannot give tax advice, but I will do my best to guide you in the right direction. So for insuremekevin.com, I am Kevin Knauss.